All right, guys. I got another license plate guitar done. Been blowing a few of these out. They're all going down into the southeast United States, North Mississippi. This one's headed out to New Orleans. Um, I wanted to run through it quick on the bench and kind of show you what it's all about. There's a lot of different stuff on this one that puts it together. I think there's enough hoodoo, voodoo in this one to uh, impress the likes of Eli Green. So let's have a quick look before I ship this thing off. All right, we started this thing off with a uh, Sawyer uh, box kit and um, a Mississippi plate. I like these Mississippi plates because if you turn out most of the lights and shine one at this, the uh, it is going to dark, so it'll show up in a barrel house um, and also to a police vehicle that might be chasing you. What else we got on here? Oh, we're going to send one of these cobalt blue slides along with the guitar compliments of somebody drinking alcohol. Um, you see that piece of metal on that tailpiece there? That's got an interesting story. Um, comes from the place next to the Bonnie Bray house in Los Angeles, which if you're in a Pentecostal uh, religion, you, you'll know what that is or at least find out. Now, we come up the neck and we've got some very interesting uh, Mississippi um, matchbooks here. International Harvester, Mississippi Shipping Company. Oh, look, House and Son, Holly Springs Hotel cool motor that's a little bit better than cold motor huh bob log and then um mississippi welcomes you've got a map of mississippi up there with holly springs right in the middle for the headstock so let's turn this thing around all right let's start up at the head stock it's got tammy's signature right there we do that for tammy now there's an interesting uh story behind this piece of wood here and it involves Judy Garland and um, believe it or not Liza Minnelli this piece of wood has a tie into them um, we've got our neck it's doweled uh, to keep the scarf joint tight come down and um, we've got a buffalo nickel um, vintage time of some of these blues players that I follow this is really interesting this piece of wood came from uh, the can dump behind Reuben Lacey's church. This came from the Topanga house where Alan Wilson died behind and this come off of a tree uh, that was there when Mississippi Fred McDowell was recorded by Alan Lomax in 1959 and again when George Mitchell recorded him in 1967. So this has got a lot going on here. Um, we put corner protectors on it just to make sure everything's all right and then we put um, map of Mississippi up here. Yeah, there's Holly Springs right up there. Uh, North Mississippi right up in here. And then that's the back of the car. Guitar, there's my uh, logo, Paul Miro, Junk Pile Guitars out of California. Uh, thanks, Tim Lohman. Tim Lohman of Low Volts did that. And I forgot to point something out here. Um, let's whip this back around. Look at that. There's a little Eli Green voodoo hoodoo skull, purple skull action for you. So there it is. Uh, it's done. Um, these things sound okay acoustically, but that humbucker right there will make it scream. So there it is. <laughs> the person that this is going to can do something better with it than I can because that ain't going to be real hard. Anyway, I think that this one's headed for something big. Um, keep your eye on it. Uh, remember that number, 17 uh, Humbucker Zero. Um, and um, hey, thanks for spending a minute with me. Give me a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't. That way you'll find out where this one goes and make sure you click the notification button. So I got to put this in a box and get it in the mail. See you next time.